Hi, it's Dr. Janowski, and today we're going to use KISS. This is the new product from Restylane, which is a lip product. It's a really nice product. I've used it quite a bit already. It's very smooth. It's very volumizing. It really gives a nice plump to the lip with very little swelling after the fact. Uh, after the injection, we're noticing <coughs> people are not really complaining about a lot of recovery with it. And it's supposed to last longer than the other products. We'll see. I've just started using it. just came to the market here in the U.S. Um, so theoretically if it's a longer lasting product that's great because we know lips in general don't last that long. I use the same technique that I use with the other products in terms of the way I inject it uh, but you'll see a nice really nice immediate plump and often we put one half of the syringe in and that's often enough for patients in the first round and then bring them back a few weeks later to finish it and that's probably what we'll do today so I'll show you how, the, how uh, KISS works today. Okay, so just like I've shown in other videos, I like to use these 0.3 cc syringes, very short, uh, 31 gauge needle. And we've got some num very strong numbing cream that's already been applied and uh, that works very quickly and very well. So, um, you know, I'm comfortable treating this patient because I know we're, we're working together and we see each other all the time and I know that we're safe here. So let's go ahead and open just a little bit and we'll do a tiny little drop here, a little tiny poke like that. Good. How'd you do with that? I didn't even feel it. Yeah. So we, we want this to be a comfortable experience for the patient, so this is one way to make that happen. And we just put small aliquots in, in the central wet-dry border, and we just simply volumize it. It's, it gives us a really a lot of control to use this technique because we're putting small amounts in at one time. It is a fairly firm product and I do also blend one to one with saline. I think that is a a very nice off-label technique that I think is contributing to less swelling afterwards because we're pre-hydrating the product with the bottom lip the tubercles are uh, to the left and the right of the midline and if I pinch the tissue I can create a little ball like structure which gives us more curvature and she has a nice shape of the lips already there's not much I need to do but <coughs> for folks that have a very flat lip we want to create shape so we want to build that product into the tubercles same thing with the upper lip. And if we want to accentuate that Cupid's bow, we put a little bit into the GK points there. And so you can see, even just a little bit is already just pumping. She doesn't need a lot of pump. She has a nice lip. We don't want to do a lot. We don't want to go crazy with overdone lips, as most people do not want that. And we're just placing very selected amounts in specific areas that we think that we need it. We want to see taper of the lower lip. We don't want to fill in the corners. You can go out to the edge on the upper lip if you want. Good. So that's wrestling Kiss using the micro-injection technique with the insulin syringes, one-to-one -one blending, accenting the tubercles. She doesn't need anything in the border of the lip. Most people don't. It doesn't look natural to do that. And within, you know, five-minute five minute treatment here, uh, it's, things are looking great. No evidence of bruising. And in general, I tell patients just leave the lip alone. Don't massage it. Don't ice it because it tends to swell. And then patients can always come back in three weeks if they... Once it settles, if they want more, they can add more to it. So that's wrestling kiss.